Today we are filming. One more time. Today we are filming. Oh, I got it. it. Yep. Today we are filming sledding build battle. We can only use materials inside of our garage. And we got a lot of materials in the garage because we've done a lot of videos. And by garage, I mean this kind of area. <laughs> this entirety of the property. We are gonna see who can build the fastest and most effectively efficient sled with the item here in our barn. Effectively efficient. Effectively efficient. First come, first serve with the uh, items, fellas. Hey, we got a table base here. That could work. Sorry, you Ooh. missed the seat for your sled. Oh, are you gonna make yours heavy, Andrew? Oh, wait, heavy yeah. might go faster though, actually, right? Yes, that's... have you ever thought of science? No. no. That's his theory on science. I have a completely different one. I don't know if this has ever been done before, but I'm gonna use this broken TV as my base. So I don't know if anyone sled sledged. Did someone, is someone upstairs? What if I find a sled? Can I use that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this as the base. I'm hoping I don't like crush it. I think it should be strong enough. There's no way it's strong. Enough. One of my goals to win the build battle and one up Justin and Andrew is to try and make a two man sled. And myself, I'm already pretty much two men. And so I'm trying to basically build a three man sled, I guess. Out of this sled that doesn't even hold one man? No, this will hold three men. Right through. Yes. Thanks. I have discovered my base platform from the sled. So this is a, a bike trailer, basically. So I am going to use this. I really like the curvature here because if it's just flat. Sorry. <laughs> if it's just flat, it'll slam into the ground and you'll go flying off the sled. But this, you know, science. So I'm going to use this. Let's just throw it off. Perfect. What is it? Geronimo, boys, incoming. I found this green slide. If I fold it over and attach the seat, will it slide down the hill? Oh, that oh like a seat. I kind of wanted to make like a bobsled. Here, go push me. Uh, ow! <laughs> push, uh, push. Uh, keep pushing. Uh, keep pushing. Ow! Does not seem effective. Look what I found. An old vintage stretcher that they used in the military. Dude, this is like a perfect solid base. Now I have two great options. A good scientist tests out his theories to determine which is the best one. Let's bring this out. My next idea is I found this ATV. If I take the wheels off and attach sled parts, I could have like a sled that maybe turns as well. That could be next level. The shape of this TV might work out perfectly. It's got this kind of rounded edge, so it's gonna stop the front from getting stuck in the ice. The only thing I need to figure out is maybe how I can either steer it or keep it on track so I'm not like drifting sideways because that would be a lot scarier, especially if I catch an edge on this side and then go, woo! Do that again. <laughs> you sit on it and give it a test run. I don't want to sit on it until it's ready to go. Cause Here, sit on it. No. Do you want me to sit on it? I don't want anyone to sit on it yet. Just give it a little test run. I'll sit on it when it's ready. This is the kind of sled that's probably a one-time use. Once you've sat on it, it'll be broken. It seems like it slides pretty well. Yeah. Down the hill, I think that thing will catch some serious speed. I found just what I needed. Double reflective insulation. This is going to be perfect to put underneath on the snow. In order to go fast, you need a slippery substance that can go So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna maybe find some zip ties, some tape, maybe even something like Flex Seal. It's a rubberized coating. We know rubber is slippery. Do we though? Guys, I found Epic Sweet Chair. This thing, once I unattach it, will be super comfortable. Oh. It'll be super nice as I sled down the hill. I don't know how you're gonna attach that thing. That's 30 years, by the way. Huh, pretty oh, good. You think you can create funny content like that? Yeah. No. Come here, Isaac. Oh, no. Oh, my elbow. I don't care that you broke your elbow. See? You can't force funny content. It just has to happen naturally. My current plan is to find old skateboards laying around, take off the wheels and the trucks, and use these as my base for my skiers. It should work pretty well. I just gotta get these off now. It'd be a lot easier with a skate tool, but I don't know if we have any of those. It's working. It's working. Look at that. I got brand new skis. Oh, bad. Should be able to get that to fit. Like this. 
Oh, now that would be a comfy ride. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> That's You're awesome, right. actually. Don't know if it's going to be the fastest, but it's definitely going to be the most comfy and the coolest one. Well, definitely the most comfy. The easiest method for me is going to take the skateboards and drill them straight into the tires. I only have two skateboards, four tires. If I cut them in half, it should work if math is right. Oh, gosh. I've never cut a skateboard before. What's going to happen? Whoa. Oh, gosh. You ever seen inside a skateboard before? Oh, you burnt it. Yeah, a little burnage. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, it's way off. Oh, no. No, no, Wait, no. hold on. Dad, gum it. Didn't measure. <laughs> Time to take this off. Take these tires off first. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you have a problem there. How do you take off? Maybe I can't. This is above my pay grade. Uh -huh. Oh, stop moving. These screws don't go down all the way. These are gonna be like rubbing into the snow, maybe not sliding as well. Come on. None of these are work, they're all too big. That is not looking straight. Hang on. Oh, ho, ho, Mr. Beast. Whoa, what the heck? That's my way. Oh, jeez. This is pretty slippery, to be honest. You just can't go in reverse, I guess. Yeah, most of those don't go in reverse anyways. Who reverses up a snowy mountain? Okay, I've managed to unattach the, the wheels from the chair. So now it's pretty much ready to install onto my TV. That was quaint. I've never drilled through a whole TV before, so I'm not sure what to expect, but it should be relatively simple. Just drill through the bottom, go right into the wood on the chair, and then boom, I have my seat. I should probably put it further back, so most of the weight is in the back, which I think creates more speed in the front. Isaac, if you're drilling it from no, the back side, that's gonna tell me anything. That's gonna go up into no. your butt. Well, maybe if you get I a like, bump. Maybe that was what I was going for. Don't question it. Not right, questioning. Guys, probably the first time you ever seen someone drill through a till television. Okay, we're getting close. It's bending. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh it's cracked a lot more than I thought. Yeah. So how is this supposed to your seat fit on it? Well, I'm just gonna need a tad bit of help from you. The sights man. Is that me or Drew? You. Ow. Whoa. Ow. Now watch this. So you hold it up against there and I'll just drill it in. <clears throat> okay. Drill a little bit. Yeah. yeah. More. Oh. oh. Wait, what the heck was that? You oh. went all the way in. Oh, no. That was pretty solid. That was a little sideways. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, don't put it down. I'm, hold, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the? Yeah, I can always tape that hole. Flex seal. You can't just spray this on a hole. That's exactly what it's for. This is perfect. Oh. I'm going to wrap this thing around and put this on the front as well. That should be good enough, I hope. All right, I got to figure out how to attach this firmly. Oh, I don't know if it can go through this. Oh, oh what the heck? <laughs> Maybe it's metal inside. This might be metal inside, you know? <laughs> you never know what's on the inside of a seat. I'm pushing as hard as I can. <laughs> oh, I'm in plan B. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I could see me sweating in this. I may have to put oh, up like this for off. Look at that steering. Dude, you hit any sort of resistance and you're going way over the bars. Yeah, that can dodge any kind of disasters. Have you ever been sledding before and you've had a major crash or injury? That was a bad idea. We don't know what's about to happen, but something could happen. We haven't filmed the rest of the video yet. Even though the rest of the video is in front of you guys, it's nowhere near us. This looks like a present. But look at the bottom. Sled mode activated. Are you kidding me? You can also maybe get a tan. Get a cushion a little bit. <laughs> you should definitely go down in your undies then. Okay. Huh? We already know as you're building a tanning bed. No, I'm not. Oh yeah, you could have fooled me. <laughs> My sled's gonna go down the hill and all the snow behind it will be completely melted because it's like reflecting the sun. It's like hot. So to stop myself from catching an edge and also to add a little bit of color, 
to my vehicle. I'm gonna add pool noodle bumpers. Wait, what the heck? Why is there wood in here? Oh, that was to keep them from keep floating them. away. That was to give them weight when they fell out of the helicopter. Oh, those are the sprinkles. So if you see something you recognize, comment which video it's from. Wait, hold on, try it. What happened? The screen is detaching. Oh. Oh, don't take off. No. No. Oh. You have to repair it. Out here, the pool noodle will hold together. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's not gonna come off. I have a pretty bad feeling I might flip on this ATB sled thing. It's gonna be an epic disaster, one way or the other. And Isaac, are you gonna plug in your TV before going to plug it into what? <laughs> My butt. A super <laughs> long, a super long extension cord. This TV was already broken. That's why I'm using it. But that would be insane if I was able to watch something while I was running down the hill. Yeah. This is coming together way better than I thought. Not only is it insanely comfortable, it is insanely slippery. You would have been better off with just the normal stretcher or whatever the thing is. No, because this <laughs> metallic substance is slippery. <laughs> the metallic substance, huh? Watch. I'm going to be flying past you down the hill. Nothing's going to be flying past me. This thing is going to get some serious speed. No, Actually, you're not. You're t the front of your sled is straight into the ground. One Actually. tiny bump you're going to. No, it's not. That's what's so cool about it. It's like curved. That's why I picked it because I think it'll go flipping fast. What is your prediction? My, my prediction is as I'm going to be going very fast, but I'm not going to have any way to steer it. So I'm going to be going sideways, left, right, probably backwards. It's going to be really scary. This isn't, we're not going on an ice rink. How are you going backwards? I added this wooden bar to the back to make sure the back tires don't spin Ooh. so it's more of a oh that already works so much more better oh man i thought of that idea all by myself i'm a little worried about the front tires if they spin can that cause problems too i think it'll cause more problems than the back tires spinning i mean i could put another two by four like in the front and if i turn the steering wheel it should still be able to steer but then they won't rotate this is the main part of my sled. I'm recentering the the, the ah. since this is the main part of my sled, I can't be lazy and settle for a crooked chair. So I'm recentering it so that it actually functions well. I just I'm the one drilling. I just need you to center it. I can't it's, I can't do it alone, Andrew. That looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. yeah I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's way better. It's in the same place. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Okay, kind of working. Just gotta straighten out the tires. Put in the next screws. Oh, that one in like butter. Now look at that. Now try. I mean, I could put like my toes like right back here. Oh yeah. Oh, no, the handle's oh. breaking. All right, enough testing for now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And I'm gonna put this on top. It's gonna be perfect. A tent? Yes. I'm gonna throw a little bit of flex seal on the bottom, or, or at least these little things that fill in some of the gaps. This stuff is apparently good for you. Well, not for you, but <laughs> for sealing things. It's actually really bad for you. Titanium dioxide, which is known for cause cancer, birth defects, and reproductive harm. Oh no. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. <coughs> I'm going, to the, I'm going to the prop room. If anyone wants to change outfits, you could do that as well for this video. Fit check time. You already know. Man, I'm never gonna have a kid. I'm looking for some new shoes. I already feel the cancer setting in. Ouch. What happened to him? Says Reese. Oh, these are my racing moccasins. Well, you have to see if you can crouch in them. <laughs> oh, I want to blow out something. Talk about reproductive mm -hmm. issues in here, right? <laughs> Are you just a construction worker? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> now we're vibing. <laughs> Why do I do these things? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Holy crap. Here, help. What? I started to panic. It was getting hot and I couldn't get out. This and this, it's perfect. Without anything else? <laughs> Right. <laughs> you show up to the sled hill. This guy shows up with a TV that he's gonna slide down the mountain on. Just pulled up to the hill. Guys, let's go take a look to see what we're dealing with. Ah. This isn't a hill. It's a mountain for Pete's sake. Isaac, are you okay? Mm. I don't know if it's gonna be this uh, steep. We're brave, aren't we? We're the brave brothers. <laughs> Do, 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 do. We're gonna get our sleds out and we're gonna take turns seeing who sleds the best. There's a couple ways we'll know that. If your sled makes it down the hill, you probably are doing pretty good. Yeah. And whoever gets down the fastest, also pretty good. Not only fastest, but furthest. 
What if we all get yeah, down this? This is a good test. You have to stay on your sled. Rock, paper, scissors, loser goes first. Okay. Rock, paper. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> don't, we, don't we usually do this style? Oh, you're right. Gosh. You rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Whoa. Uh oh. Yes. Okay. Rock, paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, yes! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, whatever. Andrew's I gotta first! Kill, wait, I gotta kill you both. I, yes! <laughs> I'm last! Why am I wearing shorts? Whoa, why are your shoes so big? Wait, Andrew, stay next to him. Dude, what? Why are you making a big deal about it? These Those are huge. Don't you know he's sensitive about his pose? Why are you making a big deal? I literally, have you never seen my feet before? Everybody who's walked past, past us is asking us what we're doing. I don't know if they're concerned or just actually curious. Yeah. Well, you guys are dressed up very oddly and uh, there is a school right there. Well so. guys, I was going to put a tent over my sled, but Whoever packed this tent before didn't put any poles in here. So never mind. The little girl over there saw his sled and her mouth, her jaw fell to the ground. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> I think sled? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't want to do it, dude. I can't. Yeah. No, I can't do it. Yeah. I'm not even you kidding. Have to. You have to, Isaac. Man, is it going to be so fast? Are you seriously worried? What do you mean am I seriously worried? Yes. <laughs> this TV is so slick. I'm going to be going at high speed. So if I, if I like, Catch an edge of any kind. I'm going so far. You guys, that if part of me hopes Angel gets hurt, so we all have to go to the hospital. I don't have to go. Yeah. Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to tell how steep this hill is, but if I put the camera down like this, yeah, it's it's pretty steep. I'm just trying to think of like a bail strategy. There if things start going south, I might just jump off. There's not any. Kind of have to just commit to a roll. Yeah, I can just I can just dive off like that. No. Yeah, I can. That's way safer. You'll bring the whole thing with you. <clears throat> it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, this is so nervous. Yeah, try, test a bail real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't That's know about that. Right? Well, you could put, can you put your legs up here and use no. it to... No, that'll rip my legs off. What if you put your legs up and over the handlebars? That's what I'm saying. Over like this, and then you can just kind of eat off. No, no, I'm scared. No, girl, I'm scared. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, you're actually yeah, doing it. It's working! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! He didn't even fall off. No. Your turn, Isaac. You're already starting to slide. It's what are so your nerves? It's so slippery. What are my nerves at a maximum height? I have nothing to hold on to. Hold on to your chair. Okay, I'm holding. All right, send it. Hopefully, I don't actually get Move too much face. speed. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 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 Ouch! Holy moly! <laughs> it worked! That was so scary. It stayed more straight than I thought, but as I started to get close to the ATV, I was afraid I was gonna go into it at full speed. So I kind of turned it a little bit, otherwise I might have been able to go further than Andrew. Okay guys, moment of truth. The goal is to beat Andrew's sled. I have high chances of that happening. This is very slippery as I predicted, but I have no handles. Oh! And I have nothing to grip on. <sighs> Uh, see what here is. Okay, well. Here's my tips. Don't take your feet off, because then you start going sideways. Just commit to whatever direction you're going, keep your feet on. I might okay. be too nervous to keep feet up. You can do it. At least. Keep your feet up. Oh, gosh. Okay, you ready? Okay, here I go. Oh! Oh! Uh, there's a massive, <laughs> massive like a hole right here. I hit a giant hole. That was scary. <sighs> and my helmet broke. Like I said at the beginning, I wanted to make a two-man sled. The idea kind of changed, but this technically probably can still get two guys down there. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Isaac, Isaac, we're going. I don't going. want to do it. Isaac, we're going. I don't want to do it. Isaac, oh, we're going. No! Ah! Well, it worked. None of us got injured. Oh, this was a success. Yeah. 
I think by our metrics though, my sled won. You're right. <sighs> I don't know, because when me and Drew went down it, we made it all the oh, way to the bump. That, that was an extra test. You blew your first uh, test. I hit a bump, and you guys didn't. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'm referring to the ATV. Which one was your favorite sled? Let us know down below. And don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> we'll see you on the next upload. Like. <coughs>